hopefully we find some very vintage items that retains the value. Bunch of newspaper. Ooh, paper, money and stuff and coins. That we're gonna look first. More paper money. I love it. So, I like how they put everything into Ziploc bags. So we're gonna go through everything. I see more coins. No way! I think this is a $300 uh, mystery box. Okay, there's a thermos and some kind of trophy. Pretty cool knife, look at that handle. Another trophy looking thing. Okay, this is the same seller that I always buy. This is the best junk doors. Who, it all started for me, all. There you go. There's another book, vintage books. And we got out here a lot of G.I. Jones. So never mind, this is I paid around $300 for sure, maybe $350 if you include the shipping and everything. Some vintage comics, let's see, 1989, there's a little bit newer ones, DC comics. So that's pretty cool, newer comics, another new one, but look how many of them I will put in my comic pile. What year is that? can see it but look at that, 20 cents that gotta be pretty old so I can go through it and you can sell comics pretty easily either on eBay or you can take it to some stores and they can evaluate it evaluate it again I guess I never done it but there you go some kind of spaghetti jar that's kind of cool jar fill it up with water wounds or something oh look at that sticker and what is this vintage game board finance is it like a repo for monopoly maybe but it looked pretty vintage so it's awesome actually i paid for this junk door a little bit over 400 dollars because this junk door had a little bit more valuable things but a lot of times I do miss junk doors that he sells because some people outbeat me what I'm willing to spend. Wow, look at that. There's some vintage beer sticker. $2. 1963 red stamp. $1 silver certificate. And what age is that? I can't find the year for it, but it's pretty cool. $100 uh, gold foil. I don't think I have one. Maybe I do. Pretty awesome. Wow, look at this stuff. There's a Bolivian dollar or whatever you call it. Money. Wow, there's some newer one. One pound. British. British Armed Forces. Wow, this is like military money. Whoa, check this one out. That one's some big money out here. That's pretty unique. Some picture of a dude another picture of a dude okay what is that order fractional american in virginia official base i have no idea what it is i have to look into it do a little bit more research jello wow what is that mark and there's another one very cool money i like that paper money that's awesome that's more money ever in this junk door. He always mixing up with his junk doors. Every time junk doors are so different. Wow, look at this money. Imagine having a wallet for that kind of money. That is so cool. Maybe German, I don't know. There is a coin set, 1992. All of them, pretty unique. And there is a 1962 Rosalver dime 90% silver awesome okay let's go to the most valuable stuff first I saw gold somewhere there you go let's go to this most valuable bag wow look at that a little train I love trains especially like that definitely keeper probably part of this thing Okay, we have here the goodies. Sometimes you can 
find silver coins inside of this, uh, what do you call it, uh, what coins, but most of the time it's just generic um, coins and you can sell them at the coin store once you have a lot, you can sell them as bulk and they'll buy it for you for around 5 cents uh, per coin, but they go, there's uh, 10 centavos, there's a whole bunch of, of them, I doubt any of them silver because this seller separates the silver stuff in the good baggies but I do love world coins okay whole bunch of buttons generic jewelry not silver just like you know junk lighter definitely keeper I love knives that looks like a clean knife cool go put that to the side over here that's a part of the junk door okay this is why we buy that stuff let's go Okay, first of all, we have here five cents, 90% um, silver barber dime, uh, mercury dime, 1941, 90% silver three dollar melt volume. Okay, size eight, looks like diamond ring, and there's some markings on it. I would have to figure it out and grab one of those magnifying glasses. Probably cubic zirconium, but still pretty cool. Okay, wow, this one has a lot of coins. I can't believe it. So, there's a 1972. I don't know if this one is silver or not. 90% um, silver, 52. Half dollar, 68, 40% silver. I'll take it. Another 90s, barber dime, quarter. Mercury dime, ooh, standing liberty, 1927. What you're looking for is 1916 is the most valuable, even in a bad, bad condition, and you can get a lot of money for it. But anyways, well, 1922, most generic piece dollar, but it's kind of cool quality. So this melt value around $20, I think. Um, 1943, mercury dime, ooh, look at that. Virginia Independence Bicentennial 1774-1976 Medal. <laughs> I like how it says nice. I think it is nice, honestly. And some Australian, I think. No? Great Britain large penny. So this is 1940 large penny. I do like them. I keep them in the world coins, things like that separately compared to this stuff. So put this separately, but definitely big time keepers. I wonder what's in the box. We'll open it last. Wow, look at that copper coin. Don't threaten on me. Established in 1754. That's beautiful. A little bit dirty, but I wouldn't clean it. Uh, you can also sell it easily at the coin store. I don't know how much copper coins sell for. And this is what we are here for. One gram gold sell for around $85, boom, nice, that is definitely nice, I love certification plastic card, it makes a really good gift, also this is 2019 inside of the case, this right now sells at for $34 at coin stores, you will be lucky to get it for $30 per ounce at the coin store. This is one ounce, 99 silver, and silver is very, very high right now. So we're making money. Wow, this is nice too. Pretty clean. Is it gold or anything? Tarnished a little bit, so I doubt it is gold or anything. Probably cubic zirconium, but still pretty cool. So right here in the melt one, we're at least 100 and 30 to 150 dollars already we got back and I'm not even talking about paper money or anything so let's open up the rest of the goodies right here I see some coin set wow that one is nice this is one dollar I don't really know what is this this is definitely unique wow you see this is actually American currency one dollar I never seen a coin like that. Definitely a nice set. Probably like 10 bucks at least. 5 to 10 bucks depends. A radio. Ooh, another set over here. What kind is this? Oops, opening it upside down. This is 24 card gold plated 
um, coins. One cent, two thousand. So everything is two thousand over here. One, five, ten, twenty-five, and one dollar. Kind of dirty a little bit, but still very, very cool set. I like that one. I think I have one like that, but this one is a little bit better. Ooh, look at that! Super Mario 3 Bros. Definitely needs to be cleaned a little bit. But let's see. Is it silver? Does not look like it, so jump. Look at that. Pretty cool knife. Multi tool. A keeper for sure. Tools are always a keeper. Uh, pearls. What is that? Paint opener. Cards. Toys. Is it Hot Wheels? Rescue. Made in Malaysia. Cool. Flute. That's pretty cool. Just plastic generic stuff. Wow. Indian herbs. Some vintage boxes over here. What's in here? Ooh, look at that. Desert Storm unopened cards. 1991. That is unique. Wow. I don't even know what it's all about. Oh, I guess you get actual sol soldier cards. That's pretty cool. Gotta be worth something, right? Okay, and a couple more toys and stuff. Okay, then there's a little bit more junk in here. Okay, there's some vintage knife. Pakistan. Which is over here. I can hear them clicking, so some of them work. Oh, look at that. What is that? Garmonica? Some old watches. That one is clicking. Clicking heavily. That kind of stops. I guess you wind it. And then it goes. Okay, that one is working. Just dirty. And there's uh, simple stuff. Okay, another knife. Stainless steel. Cool. More watches. More knives over here. This one flips out. Nope, it doesn't. Patches. Check this out. Kitchens. Lighters. Ooh, this one is nice and a working condition. You'll need a special lighter fluid att attachment to really refill it, but let's see if it'll work. It definitely losing some lighter. Woo! For sure need to be adjusted quite a bit. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna keep the flame for that very long time. But it works. Just put it on the lowest. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. Whoa! Highly, highly sensitive. That's what happens with those lighters usually. But at least it's holding the flame. I never even seen a lighter like that. Pretty cool. It works. Nice. Again, you can adjust it easily. And it's like uh, one of those folding lighters, except not a lighter fluid. You actually put actual gas in it. This thing actually could be good money, at least $20. There is a brand of it. You can guys look it up how much this lighter go for. Even in the bad conditions. That's actually pretty good condition, so I like it. Oh, there's a really rusted knife. Okay, there you go. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this junk though. Definitely thumbs up for me. I had a lot of fun and some unique stuff out here, that's for sure.